investigates is learning of a new warning to the city of Boston about the poor condition of some of its streetlights on the Moakley Bridge. Our Karen Anderson has been breaking news on this story from the very beginning. She is live in our newsroom with this exclusive. Karen, what do you have? Well, this warning came directly from a state bridge inspection engineer nearly two months before the streetlight fell and seriously injured a pedestrian. The email is dated August 1st. It comes from a MassDOT engineer to an engineer with the city of Boston. Attached is a PDF copy of a recent bridge inspection, the engineer writes. Then he adds, some of the lighting standards, meaning street lights, have 100% section loss at the bases and need attention. The bridge inspection that he is sending had more details about the deteriorating conditions of the street lights called lighting standards in the report. So we told you about them yesterday, the pictures of the holes in the metal and the crumbling concrete. The state rated the damage to these poles as severe major and said they warranted repair as soon as possible. All this is coming to light after one of the streetlights fell on Tuesday, severely injuring a pedestrian. We're also learning new details about who the woman was who was injured. She's a 35-year-old being treated at Tufts Medical Center, and she is still in serious condition. Her family has so far declined a comment. Now, we asked the city of Boston for a response to this warning they received about the bridge from the state on August 1st. A spokesperson says again, two days after they received it, they provided the report to a bridge consulting firm to develop a work plan based on the report. That work plan is still in development.